Hello, my name is Paul, support engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft, and today I'm going to show you how to have anonymous access for dashboards. So the prerequisites to this video are access to a dashboard, uh, all items used in a dashboard, such as the dashboard, the report, the data source, etc., must have read-only, execute-only permissions for anonymous access. Uh, you must also have access to the application context security dash web dot xml file there will be three of these files you need access to the next one will be the application context dash security dash pro dash web file and then the last one's going to be the application context dash security dot xml file and you have to have permission to modify the above files so the reasons why you might, might want anonymous access to a dashboard is you have the ability to access certain dashboards without the need to log in. You can simply share these dashboards uh, with anything such as a link and they won't need to log in. They won't need to authenticate with a Jasperport server. They'll just need the, uh, that link and they'll have access to that dashboard. Um, you can also utilize and show dashboards without needing access to Jasperport server and they can easily be shared. So uh, this is kind of a detailed video, so I'm going to go step by step for each one. So the first, uh, the first part we're going to look at is an application context dash security dash web xml web dot xml file. You'll need to add the role underscore anonymous to the following security security metadata source. And uh, here's a list here. You can pause the video to get the full list there, but I'm about to go over it with you here. So uh, like I said, we're going to do this step by step. So first, let's take a look at this part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my instance now. And uh, here are the files here. I have all three of them located here for uh, ease of access. Again, you can easily find these uh, in the web INF folder. So if you want to open up here, uh, I'll show you where my personal one is. You can go to C. Uh, then Jaspersoft, then 6.4.0, that's the version I'm using in this example. Uh, Apache Tomcat, Web Apps, Jasper Server Dash Pro, Web INF. And as you can see, a lot of these files here, the application context, we're going to use three of these files. They're located in this folder here, so you should have easy access to these if you have access to the server. So now that I showed you how to do that, this is the first file we're going to modify here. And as you can see, I'm using this program called Notepad++. If you watched any of my videos before, you've uh, probably heard me mention this program before and how much I like it. So uh, that's what we're going to use here. So we open up the application context dash security dash web dot XML file. And from here, we scroll all the way down. Uh, we looked, as I mentioned, we looked for this here in this in this file. Uh, the security meta metadata source uh, for me it's about on line 305 it looks like it's the majority of the way down just so you have some reference point point. and so I made the list here as well so we can kind of look uh, we can kind of look at it while we're going along and uh, what you will need to do is we'll need to add this role anonymous to these certain uh, these certain patterns here and so Here's the complete list that I'll need to have the role anonymous added to it. Uh, when I looked through it and I double checked it, at least with my installation of uh, JR 6.4, some of these already had it. So this is the list here that I needed to add it to. So for example, here I needed to add it to the first one was the flow. So as you can see the flow here, I need to add the role anonymous there, so I added it there. Uh, the second was report image. So what I did is I just, you know, I copied and pasted it and just pasted it and then add a comma here. So they'll go with the other roles that are already assigned to these patterns. So as you can see, I already went through and did that. Um, these are the ones I only had added to. This this is the list that needs to have them more for this to function, but these are the ones I specifically had added to. Some of these other ones already had it, as I mentioned earlier. So the first one I did was the flow, then the report image, as you can see here, then the rest version uh, v2 slash reports uh, that you can see here. Uh, then the resources, then the report execution, uh, then you can see here, uh, let's see, the review port cancel, uh, that's down here. So like I said, some of these in the middle here already had that role anonymous, so I didn't have to add that. Your environment may be different, I'm not sure. Um, when I use this, it already had it there, so uh, you might have be able to skip these steps like me. But just make sure you go through and add this role anonymous and then a comma uh, in these patterns so you can have access to the anonymous dashboards. 
And then uh, the second part we're going to look at. Oh, excuse me. Let me minimize this. So the second part, excuse me, second part we're going to look at is uh, once we added all those uh, role underscore anonymous to these uh, sources uh, in the application context dash security dash pro dash web XML, we'll need to add the role underscore anonymous to the following. And it's going to be the invocation interceptor pro extend extension. So we're going to need to add the role anonymous to these three areas here. So let me go ahead and bring back my environment. Uh, and we bring back this. And so this one's here. Again, you can find all this in the, in the web INF folder. They're all there under the application context. And then you can search for the specific one you need. Or you can go through and they're in alphabetical order. Or you can set them up that way. So this one, as I said, you'll need to add the role anonymous to those three. Uh, the report execution count message is the four, first one. Uh, here it is here. Again. Uh, I went ahead and highlighted this for, for this program I'm using. I'll highlight everything that, that is similar to it. So I added it there. I also added it to the REST version 2 report generators. And then uh, the last one I'll need is this dashboard slash viewer to add it there as well. So once you add those, you save it. Uh, I guess I forgot that step here. Make sure you save these files and then we're going to modify one more file. So let me minimize this. And then we're going to modify one more file. So in the application context dash security dot X XML file, you'll need to add the following lines before the repo admin flow to the vo vo excuse me, flow voter. And you'll need to add these two lines. So I'll keep it there for a second so you can look at it and copy it if you need to. It's going to be dashboard runtime flow. Uh, make sure the casing is correct too. equals. And you're going to add these roles, of course, adding the last roles to role anonymous. Uh, the same thing with the second one is the view report flow equals role underscore user, role underscore admin, and role underscore anonymous, of course. So here's where I did that step, and I added these right here, right before. So uh, initially, when you search for this, you're going to search for uh, the flow voter, and it's going to be, at least for me, on line 557. Uh, when you go down and you see this line, you're going to add them before this repo admin flow. Uh, there shouldn't be nothing there. Again, I just added these two lines there. Once I added that, I saved these three files. Make sure you save these three files when you're done. And once these are done, uh, a server restart will have to take place in order for these to take effect. So if you don't restart your server, you're going to have to wait in order to get the anonymous access because the server restart for these changes to take effect will have to happen. So once you have those server restart, uh, you need to uh, go ahead and what we can do is we can start working on this role anonymous dashboard. So let's go back to the PowerPoint real quick and let's see the next point. So here uh, I'll go through, but uh, here here's an example of the link we're going to use. It, the, mine's on the local host, of course, so it's a dashboard viewer. You got to make sure you use this decorate equals no. And then followed by the J username equals anonymous user and J password equals uh, equals the uh, number sign. That's going to be your your password for this anonymous user, essentially. And then you want to have the link to the dashboard you're using. So let's go back to your, to our environment and let's select a dashboard and let's kind of go from there. So let me go ahead and open that up. Uh, here's a right in here. I'm just going to go ahead and log in as super user. So I already created a dashboard. Uh, let's go ahead and go to that real quick. Let's go to view then repository. Uh, I went ahead and created and saved mine through uh, the samples here. And this is the anonymous dashboard I, I created. So if we take a quick look at that real quick. So this is the dashboard I selected. It's just an easy, uh, simple dashboard. It has two reports that are included in the bundled installation as the examples or the sample reports on uh, Jasper Report Server. So for example, I'm just using one geographic results by second report and five account report accounts report. So in order to get this working, we there's a few other steps we have to do within Jasper Report Server itself. So if we go here to view and then repository, we have to make sure the anonymous role has read and act and execute only access to everything here. So of course we're ex we're ex we're uh, using this this public folder. So we go here to permissions and we want to make sure the anonymous the role anonymous has read only to everything we're using. So it has it here to this folder. It has it to here on this folder. Same thing read only access, and then uh, 
with the dashboards, it also has to have read-only access here, and as well as the uh, data sources we're using. So if you're using some of these data sources here, make sure it has the permissions on this folder, so you read only, and on the data sources itself. Like for example, I believe one of the reports I'm using is using this data source here. You have to make sure this permission's either on read only or execute only. This one, uh, it doesn't really matter. I set mine to execute only, but for the dashboard itself, it has to be read only so you can actually read the data. So again, you have to make sure all these permissions are in place in order for you to have access to these anonymous dashboards. And uh, for mostly everything, you can do read only. Uh, for for the data sources and stuff, you can do exit for only. I, I believe both will work. I tested both, and they both work. So uh, I also made sure they were on the data sources and the reports themselves. So, so for example, here's this report here, uh, the one I'm using. So if I go here, permissions, set read only there as well. Uh, for number five, the other one we're using, it's set to read only here. So once I have all those permissions in place, we can take another look at my dashboard and here it is here. And I, of course I set the permissions here as read only again. So once you have all those permissions in place, what we can do is we can kind of create uh, our, our link here. So if we go back, for example, to the, uh, to the dashboard example, uh, real quick, let's go back to that. And this is the first one, oh, excuse me. This is the first one we used here and what we can do. So we can kind of use this as a, a template to kind of see what dashboard we want. It's a real sim simple way to do it. So let's go back here uh, to our instance. And here I already have it and it's already set work here. But say if you want to use a different dashboard, you can just copy and paste this first part here. So we'll copy this part here, paste it there. And then in order to get the last part, which is referencing the dashboard. So this is just simply what it's doing is doing the no deck, the decorate no. So it's just, you have to have that in order for to run this dashboard, but that hides the themes and everything else. And then this is the login to, to the anonymous user. That's essentially the information in this URL. So the last part is uh, you can go here and you can go to properties and you can essentially copy and paste this path and that'll give you the path to the dashboard. And so we can copy and paste that here uh, and hit enter. But the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to log out to make sure, you know, we actually use the anonymous access and not the super user. So we can log out here, go here and hit paste. And here you do go. You see the anonymous access to this dashboard. Uh, again, you can use any dashboard as long as you set those permissions, right? Um, through the configuration files, we set it so the anonymous access will work with any dashboard. You just have to make sure you set the permissions in Jasper Report Server for this to work. So, uh, like I said, uh, what you do is you can just use this first part, uh, and you can pause it in the video as well to see the exact link. But uh, you can use this first part here, and then you can simply just, as I showed you here when we logged in, we can do the path and just copy and paste that path there at the very end, and it should come up exactly as you see it here uh so just again just so i can show you uh we feel the, the view the list of our dashboards go here go to properties and uh here's the path to the dashboard there and that can be used like i said with any dashboard if you want to use like this one for example you'll have to copy and paste this here just remember some certain things change when you do the path for example spaces are underscore uh, and also you have to set the permissions in Jasper report server in order for this dashboard to run anonymously. And uh, we took a quick run through of that, of changing the folder permissions and make sure you have read uh, only access as well as execute only, whichever one you prefer on your data sources, folders, and the dashboard and reports itself. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm a support engineer for Tipco JasperSoft. Thank you very much for watching.